In a cold and gloomy, unfamiliar room, an employee named Joe woke up. Around him, there are only eerie mills and high walls. He began to get confused, while groping for his cell phone which had disappeared somewhere. Joe then observed his surroundings. All he could see was a tall concrete wall and a sturdy metal door that was locked. As he began to shout, Help! Can anyone hear me? There was a sudden hoarse voice from the ventilation. Shut up! In my head! Shut the fuck up! A cold and authoritative male voice echoed. You're new here, right? The man from the vent realized that Joe was new. You were given drugs that made you feel depressed. Tomorrow, things will be much more difficult, he whispered. I have to get back to work, and disappeared into the vent. Hey! Hey! Joe was transfixed, digesting the information he had just received. Suddenly, a sharp whistle sounded from outside. A hand thrust food and drink through a small slot in the door. Joe, still in a daze, ran towards the door, pleading, Help! My wife is pregnant. Instead of helping her, he received a hard blow. Fuck. Shit. When night fell, Joe dressed his wounds with a shabby cloth and forced himself to swallow the food he had been given. Suddenly, a projector turned on, illuminating the wall with bright light. The AI's cold, emotionless voice echoed in the room, Joe, welcome to advanced career training. Joe's anger exploded. What is this? Explain. What's going on? However, the AI was silent, then disappeared, leaving Joe alone in the darkness and deepening confusion. Broken or something? Joe wondered if something was broken. His neighbor explained that the machine was working, but not for the benefit of the employees. Joe asked for further explanation, but the other workers started yelling at him to be quiet because they wanted to sleep. The neighbor also added that the voices were coming from all the employees there. After that, Joe prepared for bed. However, in the middle of the night he woke up to the screams of a dismissed employee. The next morning, the guard brought more food and told Joe to keep his room clean. Joe threw his garbage down the toilet hole, then saw something in the ground. He dug it up and was surprised to find a skull. The neighbor who heard Joe's scream explained that it was the skull of the previous employee. Suddenly, the AI starts talking to Joe again, informing him that today is the first day of the career training seminar due to Joe's decreased productivity. Unacceptable, Joe starts yelling and cursing, making the siren sound to stop him. For 10 years straight! Now look at me! The AI then explains how it works. Every day from 6 in the morning to 10 at night, he has to turn the mill until it reaches the daily quota. If any employee did not reach the quota, they would be dismissed immediately. Desperate, Joe apologized for shouting. He wanted to be sent home to check on his pregnant wife, but his neighbor explained that the company didn't care and no one could leave until it was time. He advised Joe to focus on working to survive. Joe put all his energy into pushing the old and rusty mill. That night, while sleeping, he heard the sounds of employees being fired, while the AI covered up with advertisements. The next day, at breakfast, Joe asked his neighbor what the quota meant if people were still being fired. The neighbor replies that the quota is not good enough for Mallard. While at work, Joe thinks of his wife, Kate, who is worried about their big, expensive new house. However, Joe assures her that it's the result of his hard work. Back to the present, Joe successfully completes 150 quotas. Suddenly, a guard comes and asks him to take off all his clothes and take a shower. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe continues to work at the mill and occasionally chats with his neighbors. As the weather got hotter, Joe quickly ran out of water and asked for more. However, his neighbor explained that they were only given enough food and water. He advised Joe to filter his own urine using the soles of his shoes. Joe was disgusted by his neighbor's idea and rejected it. He went back to work thinking about Kate, remembering when Kate had planned to start working to help him. However, Joe was worried that it would be harmful to his pregnancy. He was determined to work harder. After completing 370 quotas, Joe felt exhausted, and AI congratulated him on his achievement. 
While resting, he noticed the handle of the mill and found an engraving of Alex's name. He asked his neighbors and learned that Alex was the only person who made it out. The next day, Joe receives a pen bearing his name and realizes that their daily quota was changed to 370. Annoyed, he protests, but the AI explains that humans just need a little push. Joe throws the pen while insulting the company. He starts working again and realizes he doesn't get points for each round completed. When he sees a small X on his watch, his neighbor explains that it means Joe got a penalty, so he needs to do two laps to get one point. Joe made an extra effort to reach 740 laps, but eventually got tired and gave up. When his neighbor found out about this, he started yelling at Joe, saying that they would all be killed. I told you, man, not to fuck with Ballard. At that moment, the AI announced that the workday had ended and Joe had not met the daily quota. Joe asked about the penalty, and the AI explained that he himself had caused the problem by disappointing his partner. The AI states that Joe needs proper motivation, then Kate's profile appears on the wall, and the AI threatens to kidnap her. Joe asked for forgiveness and promised to reach his daily quota tomorrow. As an additional penalty, a red light appears on the ceiling. Huh? The next day, Joe uses a jacket to protect his hands while doing extra work. Suddenly, he starts hallucinating himself making fun of him, from which he regains motivation and manages to complete his quota at the last second. The AI announced that he was penalty-free. The next morning, Joe woke up and the AI rewarded him with a short video of Kate giving birth. Joe cried tears of joy at being a father, but realized he had been there too long. <laughs> Sometime later, Joe asks his neighbor about how Alex got out. At first, the neighbor was reluctant to tell, but after hearing that Joe wanted to see his baby, he told Joe to check the blind spot on the wall behind the pillar. Joe quickly checked and found a closed circle. He took his pen and started digging. Days passed, and finally he succeeded in hollowing out the circle. Joe jumped in, but it was very dark. While looking for a way out, he was suddenly hit by a guard. When he woke up, he was already in his room and the hole was closed again. The AI got angry and raised the quota to 1,000. The neighbor got his leg broken by the guard, and when Joe apologized, the man was angry that he couldn't work anymore. He feels guilty for designing the system while working in IT, and states that humans cannot keep up with AI. This triggers Joe's idea that if computers follow the rules, they should break the rules. Joe starts shouting out his plan for them to work together to do no work at all. As long as they are united, no one will die. Just, just hear me out real quick, okay? Look, we are people! All employees started following Joe's directions, and no one was working. Just as Joe thought he was about to win, the AI announced that anyone without points would be dismissed. This makes the employees panic, and they return to work while ignoring Joe's plan. Joe's neighbor tells him that his son is lucky to have Joe and tells him to get to work. At night, the neighbor claims to be Alex, who managed to escape but was caught and returned. Alex regrets not burning the place down, and Joe feels sad as Alex is taken away. The next morning, the AI gives Joe a gift of video footage of Kate and her child. Joe gets frustrated at being cooped up for so long, starts to get angry, and yells obscenities. The AI did not like Joe's attitude and decided to dismiss him. A group of people surrounds and the guard entered with an injection while asking if Joe's death could free his home and wife. The words made Joe very emotional, and he began to attack the guard. As blood poured out, the AI announced that the guard had failed and was replaced by Joe, who was promoted to level 9. Joe realized his mistake and backed down, refusing the guard's request to finish the job. He declares that he is not a monster and will not let the company change him. I'm not a fucking monster! And you're not gonna make me one! Suddenly, he wakes up in the office, realizing that it was all just an advanced career training simulation. 
His co-workers explained that Joe volunteered for the program and the whole event only lasted 60 minutes, meaning his son wasn't born yet. Joe's productivity soars, and he is promoted after removing the device from his body. At the new office, Joe is greeted by the AI and signs a contract. After his co-worker leaves, he calls Kate to ask how she's doing, then says that he's going to burn the company down. I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. 